we offer our viewers a free subscription to the Prayer and Worship Guide, which contains the prayers for the Mass, scripture readings, and special seasonal prayers. For your free copy, order online at heartofthenation.org or call us toll-free at 1-855-855-MASS or write to Heart of the Nation, Post Office Box 14428, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 53214. Your privacy is important to us, and we will not share your name or contact information with any other organization. If you're joining us through YouTube, please click the like button and consider subscribing to our channel. The Heart of the Nation Mass is a viewer-supported ministry. Please consider an offering today to support the Mass on TV and online. Thank you and may God bless you. of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. spirit. And good morning, everyone. Good morning. good morning, Father. Today we are celebrating the 25th Sunday of Ordinary Time. Brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The wicked say, let us beset the just one because he is obnoxious to us. He sets himself against our doings, reproaches us for transgressions of the law, and charges us with violations of our training. Let us see whether his words be true. Let us find out what will happen to him. For if the just one be the Son of God, God will defend him and deliver him from the hand of the foes. With revilement and torture, let us put the just one to the test, that we may have proof of his gentleness and try his patience. Let us condemn him to a shameful death, for according to his own words, God will take care of him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. reading from the letter of St. James. Beloved, where jealousy and selfish ambition exist, there is disorder and every foul practice. But the wisdom from above is first of all pure, then peaceable, gentle, compliant, full of mercy and good fruits, without inconstancy or insincerity. And the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace for those who cultivate peace. Where do the wars and where do the conflicts among you come from? It is not from your passions that make war with your members. You covet but do not possess. You kill and envy but you cannot obtain. 
you fight and wage war. You do not possess because you do not ask. You ask but do not receive because you ask wrongly to spend it on your passions. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory, Glory to you, o Lord. Lord. Jesus and his disciples left from there and began a journey through Galilee, but he did not wish anyone to know about it. He was teaching his disciples and telling them, The Son of Man is to be handed over to men, and they will kill him. And three days after his death, the Son of Man will rise. But they did not understand the saying, and they were afraid to question him. They came to Capernaum, and once inside the house, he began to ask them, What were you arguing about on the way? But they remained silent. They had been discussing among themselves on the way who was the greatest. Then he sat down, called the twelve, and said to them, If anyone wishes to be first, he shall be the last of all and the servant of all. Taking a child, he placed it in their midst and put his arms around it. He said to them, Whoever receives one's child, such as this, in my name, receives me. And whoever receives me, receives not me, but the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. With our Gospel today, we hear Jesus explain that the first shall be last and the last shall be first. And whoever receives a little child in my name, receives me. So when we show Kindness, dignity, and compassion to the least of all people. We are honoring the king of the universe himself. So in essence, it's the uh, classic teaching that in the eyes of God, there's not really any difference between honoring the greatest and the least. So don't worry so much about the greatest. You can focus on the least. In the eyes of God, that's pretty much the same thing. So for today, I just want to offer a very sensible word of warning. Avoid living out the opposite of this gospel. And by that I mean avoid living out a fixation on being the first, being the greatest, and in a way, worrying about the first and the greatest. There's an attitude in the world today, very, very common in the modern world, And some people have labeled it the, if you can't help everyone, why bother helping anyone syndrome. So it's it's referring to people who look out into the world and they see the problems and they fall into despair. They become dejected and they say to themselves, the world is too broken to fix. Why bother volunteering at a homeless shelter when war is raging all around the earth? Uh, Jesus says to receive a little child, you know, in my name, what good am I doing by being kind to the neighborhood children 
when human trafficking is a thing. You know, there are people who are so fixated on the big issues, the big problems, the, 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 the things that will make you greatest if you solve them, essentially, that they've lost a sense of the good that they can bring into the world in their, in their lives. So, I know the cynics of the world will disagree with this, but the world is changed for the better when people, good, decent people, in spite of their sins and shortcomings, Lord knows we all have them, when good, decent people do good little things in their lives every day with great love. Jesus never asks us to personally save the world. That is his job. He does not ask us to be personally responsible for solving the biggest issue of our era of history. He asks us to do little good things every single day with great love. When we do that in a thousand different ways, that is receiving a little child in your midst, and therefore it is receiving the king of the universe himself in the eyes of God. There is no real difference between serving and honoring the greatest of the world and the least of the world. If you can do little good things with great love, you serve the king of creation himself. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. And brothers and sisters, for the sake of all those in need of prayer, the greatest and the least alike, let us raise our voices as one community of faith. For the church, that we may model wisdom, peace, and righteousness for all to witness, encouraging the fruit the fruitfulness of these virtues around the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our planet, that we may exercise loving care for our common home, protecting it from the harm and work, working to ensure its richness for generations to come. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have been mistreated or oppressed, that they may receive justice and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our children, who are dependent on grown-ups for care and support, that they may be kept safe and healthy as they learn the values of kindness, mercy, and forgiveness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the speedy recovery of all the sick, especially among our Heart of the Nation parish family. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For everlasting peace for those who have died, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the needs and prayers of all of our Heart of the Nation parish members, including those joining us from the states of Michigan and Alabama, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, we offer up all these prayers with confidence that they are heard by you and that your blessing descends upon us always as a response to our prayers. We ask all these things through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for all the good and good of all his holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, And gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Jerome our Bishop and all the clergy, 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but to deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And let us offer one another a sign of peace, especially to those viewing at home. of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
and let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption both in mystery and in the manner of our life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. offer our viewers a free subscription to the Prayer and Worship Guide, which contains the prayers for the Mass, scripture readings, and special seasonal prayers. For your free copy, order online at heartofthenation.org or call us toll-free at 1-855-855-MASS or write to Heart of the Nation, Post Office Box 14428, Milwaukee, Wisconsin 53214. Your privacy is important to us and we will not share your name or contact information with any other organization. If you're joining us through YouTube, please click the like button and consider subscribing to our channel. The Heart of the Nation Mass is a viewer-supported ministry. Please consider an offering today to support the Mass on TV and online. Thank you, and may God bless you.